definitely not talking about my sisters, my chocolate sisters, man. I, you know, all right. You, you, oh, here we queens, go. Let's man. get ready to rumble. You know what I'm saying? My chocolate women are queens. You're not going to have three chocolate women. Okay, let's wait for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to cut you cut you through. Wait a minute, slow down. Wait, let's stop right there. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to hear what he just said. Um, Look, man. wait, 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 wait. All the people who are listening right now. First of all, I want to say this. Okay, so you're calling brown skin women your queens? How are no no no? How are they your queens when? Uh, the black, I don't even know. I'm stumbling over this because it is a very big thing. Are you married to one right now? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, okay. Not. So, what have they done for you lately? I've always look. First off, it doesn't have to be someone that you're in a relationship with, as far as girlfriend. Why would you concerned. call? Would you if I did not go out there and make myself a high value or a high quality or a decent man or Okay, I don't want to make this complicated. If we're running a marathon and I never cross the checker flag, why the hell would you call me a winner? So here we go. It don't matter whether she's black, white, Mexican, or turquoise. Why would you call any woman a queen who did not earn that sort of not only reputation, but earn that sort of trophy from you specifically. That sounds like beta. No, sounds like so. Oh. Sounds like somebody else needs to have a class session. I'm waiting. Okay, because you're talking about how does that make her a queen? How does it make me a winner if I didn't cross the checker flag? Well, first of all, who determines what the checker flag is? That that doesn't ask the question. No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer your question. Okay. Oh, oh, I like that. You, you do. So where's your checker flag? Look, I'm with you. Look, first off, man. As far as crossing someone's checker flag, if anything, you're talking. Um, you're talking about a different racist checker flag, all right? Because the thing about us, right? Uh, okay. The thing about uh, the thing about my black women, my black men. Let's, let's keep it real, black folk. Okay, go back in history. All right, let's go back in history. Let's go back to the fact that Egypt, where you had kings and queens, and what were they? They were black. Okay, black folk were kings and queens back in the day. We got okay. We've lost our way over time because we were enslaved. Okay. We were brought over here to try to cross someone else's checker flag. Okay? I'm listening. I'm waiting. But like I said, black men were kings. That makes our sisters queens. Okay? we are, they, It's in us. Okay. It's, that royalty it's, it's, is in okay, us. Okay, it's in you. I'm, I'm not cutting you off. I just have to do this just for the sake of my uh, viewers here. Okay? So here's the thing. I got a saying, and I need you to listen to this carefully, and it's it's not to win over this debate. It's to get an understanding because we're having a conversation here. Mm -hmm. This is my rule number one. If you're not, then you never was. Think about that for a second. Take your time and think. If you're not right now, you never was. When you have royalty in your blood, if you are somewhat of a descendant of God himself, itself, if you are of greatness, then you are going to be of greatness, regardless of how kicked down you are, how distorted you are. Yeah, there's going to be some people say, well, you know, we still got some great things going on and we still have, you know, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. The black community is the most divorced. The black community is the most separated. The black community has the highest rate of single mothers. My friend, Brian, the black community has a struggle, especially when it comes to the college situation, because white women and other women of other races, when they go to college, they go to college not only to get a career or to get some type of degree, they go to college to find a husband. Mind you, 
when a black woman goes to college, she goes to college to prove to black men that she don't need them. That's statistically, that's by facts and the fact that you're standing here and don't have a ring on your finger and you don't have a black girlfriend, but yet you're calling her your queen, states that's particular fact, but yet you can walk in any grocery store or go around your town and see other cultures of other races doing what they have normally used to do so many years ago. That's not dousing black women. It's not kicking them down. I'm just telling you statistically the fact. I'm not going to give anybody prize, gifts, and trophies that they haven't earned. And when I, you said who's the who's the one that's supposed to make the checker flag, it's not up to it's not up to a universal thing. It's up to you individually. When you ask me about these, you know, these three girls and protecting myself and all type of thing, I'm putting out there a checker flag and a standard. When you put out a checker flag and a standard, it's up to the woman if she wants to meet that or not. See, I don't. The thing is, I don't care about not. I don't care about not being in that type of relationship. I don't care about even, you know, having that type of circle of women there. I'm just saying it's a standard. It's a possibility. And it's there. Should I be interested in going down that path? It doesn't matter what type of caliber of girl that she is. I'm understanding the way that the world is working today. So it's mainly by my protection and it's based on knowing myself as a male who will not and are not interested in a single in a monogamous relationship and not willing to limit myself down to a woman who can eventually break down because of her past life or because of her just oh, you got to know this women look for a retirement plan after a certain while the older she is she's looking for a retirement plan okay she's already been out there whatever you're trying to do if you take her out there to tgi fridays or or uh, the journeys or somewhere she's been out there before with several men so when you try to come around, you try to do that. But she be like, please, scrub, I, I've been there before. Mm -hmm. Somebody already proposed to me before. Somebody already did this to me before. I already had this type of experience experience on a, a cruise ship before. So you think you're doing something new. She ain't going to tell you. She's not going to tell you the 100% truth. But her friends will know that. But she's not going to tell you that she's been there and done that already. So therefore, you're already getting something used. And you got to realize Brian, that you are the prize. You are the thing that she should be, uh, 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 that she should appreciate, be appreciative of being with or around. But the thing is, women don't get to that point because they realize the men that they're around are scrubs. The men that they come in contact with are betas. These men don't have standards. So when you don't have standards, you don't give them a checker flag or a goal to reach, then they're not going to see the goal to reach. They're going to do whatever they want to do. And then I know what you was getting ready to say before. They're going to become ratchet. They're going to become a problem. You're going to be like, what the hell you think you're doing with three women that's going to be the line because they're going to kick your ass. No, you're talking about a man who have no standards because there's always a door. There's always a door. If you tell a woman the truth, that, look, I can't be monogamous. Hey, Brandy's over here uh, um, in, in Miami and so-and-so is over there in California. Deal with it. You know, this, this is what I do. And if she's like, okay, baby, you know, I'll deal with it, whatever, blah, 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 blah. She will only do that because of your caliber, not her caliber. Women need something to look towards. I didn't say look above or that men are better than. No, a man who knows his worth, a man who knows his standards. See, a lot of women, American modern women, they may not agree with, the, oh, man, he's a, he's a misogamist. Oh, he just want to be this so kind of pimp. Oh, he just want to have all, it have nothing to do with that. But a woman who's open-minded, who understands, who, who knows my value, who know that I have a standard and it's it's based on me having a, uh, 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 well, again, putting that checker flag out there and having a potential that most men don't have. It's respectable, unlike men who don't have anything to offer her, men who cannot provide for her, men who are weak in that situation. Now, understand when the car breaks down, it's going to cost money. Being with a woman costs money. But once again, that has a lot to do with your standards and the caliber of man that you are, because when you are a rich man, and you got things going for you, you're going to be a bigger target. And you got to be careful as how you peruse around these women because, yeah, they're going to come around and be like, sure, okay, I'll be girlfriend number four, okay? But they realize it's because of your potential and what you can provide for them. But then again, who's the boss? Who's the one that's there? Who's the one in the middle? You are going to be the one responsible of how you deal with the situation. But the reality of it is, is too many soft, pantsy, ridiculous, sensitive, mommy rays milk drinking pansy ridiculous as men today well, you know what? Uh, i do like my milk